Well, yeah, hey, how y'all doing? My name is Major Slack. Your name is Hardcore Slacker number 1573. And it's time for another Fallout 4 video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get 50 screws. Even the most modest modder is going to find himself constantly running out of two items, adhesive and screws. I showed you previously how to get adhesive. Now I'm going to show you how to get lots of screws. In this quick little run over to the Wilson's Automatoys corporate headquarters in Boston. All right, uh, we're going to start off at Diamond City. All right, let's just make sure everybody's on the same page. This is our starting point. And um, just exit south out of Diamond City. And this is where you're going to be. Okay, Diamond City. And the place we want to go to is just east of here. It's due east of here. It's called the Wilson, Auto Wilson Automatoys Corporate Headquarters. All right, so the way you find it is to start at Diamond City and count four streets. One two, three, four, and the Wilson Automatoys corporate headquarters is right, boom, there. All right, I'm gonna show you how to get there. I'm going with my um, stealth sniper build. So just uh, head due east here, and I've got a modded hunting rifle. I think it does 94 damage. I'm gonna go stealth all the way. The first enemy encounter is just beyond this kind of like brick wall obstruction or this fallen brick wall right there. Now what happens here depends entirely on how quietly you take this guy down and how quiet you are. If you make a lot of noise taking that guy down, um, three or four of his buddies may come up from the aqueduct which is just off to the right there and swamp you plus an attack dock so your mileage may vary what happens here in this situation I managed to take him down quietly enough so that didn't happen so proceeding cautiously here Head along here, stick to the wall. Right around here, there may be a couple of mines. So tap your VATS button a lot. You hear me tapping it away. Just tap, 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 tap. Tap your VATS button um, to try to spot those mines because your VATS will spot mines for you. And it looks like there's no mines this time. Once again, your mileage may vary. Okay, so up these stairs, there may be an enemy counter just up ahead here. Maybe. Not always. That's a good little hidey hole there. Still pushing east. This is a good way to go if you're playing on survival. Huh? And I'm going to demonstrate that here. So I don't want to go by here. Go down the stairs. Disable these can chimes here, and there's also a tripwire down here. Get into the aqueduct, and then we'll go racing across to that kind of like uh, fallen roadway there, and we'll go up the roadway. I just want to take some rad X because there's some uh, radioactive ground up ahead. As you go up that fallen roadway, that's where we're going to go up. So this is kind of like a safe way to go if you're playing on higher difficulty settings. So taking some rads here, but that's okay. And we're back on the road. We're past that part there. Continue further east. We're going to head straight for that life is a race sign. That thing right there. And we're going to tuck ourselves right in this corner. Right. Boom. There. All right, that's if you're playing stealth. Okay, if you're gonna go stealth sniper like me, this is what to do. And we're gonna have to deal with some super mutants. Tuck yourself in the corner. Look northwest, and I just took some psycho to give a boost to my damage. And I'm gonna headshot that guy. Down he goes. He's got a mutant hound. You gotta take him down quickly, otherwise he'll mutate. He goes down. And once they're both down, just speed run for the door. That door 
right there, dead ahead. And that is the door to the Wilson Automatoys corporate headquarters. There you go. And you're in. Now, what happens here once again, your mileage is going to vary dramatically depending on how, how sneaky and quiet you are. There are some things you can rely on though. There's always a super mutant straight down here. So go down here, turn to the left. Super mutant always comes out. He'll bob around a little bit. So wait till he plants and then headshot him. Not now. He's going to plant now. Headshot. Boom. Down he goes. Now usually I like to wait to see if the other ones get excited. If they do get excited and rush you, I would recommend taking out your uh, best close combat weapon. For example, the the laser musket that you got from uh, the Minutemen. That works pretty good on these guys. Okay, so all quiet on the western front here. Pushing this way, open the door. I'm not going to loot anything. Like I'm not going to like you know this is not a looting run so. Don't get on my case for leaving stuff behind. Not to mention that you want to leave as much space as possible for these toys that we're going to pick up because they can be rather heavy. Okay, so we got a couple super mutants in here. Bide your time if you're going stealth. They're a little excited. But if you got good sneak, must have been nothing. You should be okay. Your fear, human. <laughs> Headshot on that guy, down he goes, let's get out of the way. Now a lot of the super mutant voices that you're hearing are coming from the floor above. So don't freak out, there's typically only two guys in here. And the toys we want to pick up are just in there around the corner to the left. So if you got some different ideas, like you know, speed running in there and grabbing them and running it out, you that that's where they are. <laughs> Good luck to you by the way. I'm sure it can be done. Okay, so now I'm like uh, cranking up my laser musket because I'm I'm a little nervous, uh that uh, for you. he's gonna come like out and force me into Go close combat. Pity. So back into hidden stealth mode. Look, this is good. So we can get a clean headshot on this guy. And oh yeah, down he goes. That's it. It should be clear in there. On goes the laser musket. Crank that sucker up. And once again, these voices you're hearing are coming from upstairs. Once these two guys are down, that's it for this floor. And turn left here and go into this room here, and oh yeah, you've got a whole bunch of these little uh, so I want to show you on the map. Here. Okay, there's the front door. We came in that way, hung a left, hung another left, and hung another left. All right, that's how you get to this room here. All right, and you want, what we want to pick up is these Gidea Buttercups. Pick them all up. Each one is worth four screws, plus other com components. I hear something. And there's usually a dozen, so that's 48 screws right there. Plus, um, pick up one Gidea Buttercup body something weird with the bodies. I'm not sure what's happening here. Anyways, there you go. 12 Gidea Buttercups and each is worth 4 screws. Let's go to component mode. And there you go. 48 screws. Stupid noises. Plus these Gidea Buttercup bodies are also worth 2 screws each. What I've noticed though, this is really weird. See there with this 2 screws, okay? But if you pick up more Gidea Buttercup bodies, it won't add on any more screws. Go to components mode, and you'll see I'll just, I still have 50 screws. I still have 48 plus that one Gidea Buttercup body. 
I should have 52 now. So I don't know if there's a maximum amount of screws you can carry on you at one time or what's going on here, but I've noticed this. Yeah, now I've got three Gideon Buttercup bodies. I should have 54 screws now. And it's still only 50. So if anybody knows what's going on with that, uh, post a comment. But uh, that's it. 50 screws is pretty good for a quick little run like that, quick little 10 minute run. Let's get the F out of Dodge. There is much more to explore in the Wilson's Atoma Toys headquarters, and I'm sure there's more Giddy Up Buttercup toys upstairs. Uh, but like I said, if you want to just make a quick hit and run and grab 50 screws, that's how to do it. And uh, before somebody mentions this, yes, I know you can use the scrapper perk. Okay, you can get the scrapper perk. Okay, uh, I believe it's in the intelligence line. Uh, I think you need intelligence five to get the scrapper perk, and you can um, scrap weapons and armor for screws. Now, if you don't want to spend a perk point on that, or <laughs> if you're like me and you, that's not enough because <laughs> you like modding everything under the sun. You know, like you like modding half a dozen weapons and try them all, trying them all out. And you need like a whack ton of screws. This is what to do. All right, this is how to get a whack ton of screws like that. Ten minutes flat. Okay. Right? I mean, I don't even think you can even adventure and collect weapons and uh, scrap them into fifty screws that fast using the scrapper perk. So this is still a pretty viable option, even if you do have the scrapper perk. So that is it, and if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative, please subscribe to my channel for more Fallout 4 videos. Hot off the press. Yeah. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next video.